What's up guys, Dr. Nomad here with my final video of the year. Oh boy, isn't that great? Your favorite YouTuber, Dr. Nomad, is releasing another video this year. Now, since it's my last video of the year, I decided to go all out for this one. Today, we're going to be talking about why Boogie2988 needs to stop playing the fucking victim here on YouTube. So if you're a fan of this guy, and you love his content, and you know, you're just one of those boogie dick riders, you know, no matter what this cocksucker says, you just, you know, oh yeah, boogie, I'm there for you, man, you know, you, you like Reddit, I like Reddit, you know, we're one and the same, you, YouTube shills your content every fucking day in the, in the recommended section, uh, you're gonna keep growing, and you know, I, I love you, boogie, then you might want to go ahead and just dislike this video right now. Boogie is one of those guys that appeals to people that have pretty much been raised by single mothers their whole life. See, these people like Boogie are perfect, perfect to show for YouTube. The reason is because he never offers an opinion that will offend anybody. He is the most middle line guy on YouTube. Whenever something comes up, it's always, hey, you know what, I'm just above all the drama, man. You know what, that drama's for losers and, and people from these anime image boards that have nothing better to do. You know, those are the racist assholes that I just can't stand, man. Those guys are uncool, right, Reddit? Hip, man. Yeah, and, and then, you know, it's the same fucking shit every video. But you know what, I'm not here today to make fun of his content. You know, what, what, if you like his content, fine. Just because I'm not a fan of his content anymore, I'm not here to try to ruin it for you guys. If you know, if Boogie gets you through the day, you know, if he's the guy that stops you from putting a Smith and Wesson near your head and just ending it all, fine, fuck it. Today, I'm really just talking about how every fucking video he does, it's the same thing over and over. Poor me, poor me, over and over and over again, and nobody says anything. That's the thing. Everybody's too afraid to fucking say anything on YouTube anymore. You know, especially with fucking YouTube heroes, you know, that just came out at what, what, two, a month ago? I don't remember when it came out. But it's always something. Everybody's always afraid to say something. Because if you say something to these people, it's the end, it's either the end of your channel, uh, people come to your videos that have nothing to do with it, they flag it down, they dislike your video in, in mass numbers. And I'm, and by the way, I'm already ready for that, for this video. I'm, I'm quite aware that this video is going to be downvoted into oblivion. I'm fine with that. You know what, I got a life outside of YouTube. So, you know, some, some dislike ratio is not going to f affect my well-being as a person. I'll be okay. My problem is, is people are afraid to say anything anymore. One guy says something, people end up putting you on fucking Reddit cringe, and then 15,000 of his fucking retard fan base, you know, look at this fucking loser. Then they, you know, they witch hunt you to no fucking end, and then your channel's fucked. So, you know, again, you know, I'm, I'm going on 800 subs here. I got nothing to lose. I have a small boutique fan base on this channel. You know, no matter what I say, you know, as long as it's not too extreme, I'm sure they'll follow me no matter what. But, Boogie, what I'm trying to say is it's got to stop, dude. It's got to stop, okay? It's every video now. Now, here's an example, guys. Boogie's getting interviewed here. This is some sort of fat documentary thing. I don't know the exact context of the clip. But here it is. Boogie's being interviewed about his wedding, basically. And here's his biggest problem. His biggest problem is that he's too... He's basically explaining he's too overweight. Uh, look, I'll let the clip speak for itself, then I'll weigh in on it. Meet Boogie, a supersized internet blogger. Boogie to 988 coming at you. Through the power of the internet. I'm uh, 39 years old, and I'm about 37 and a half stone. Boogie readily admits that he's addicted to food. Food is the center of my universe. Yeah, when I'm eating food, I'm thinking about the next thing I'm eating or thinking about the thing I'll eat after that. In about two weeks, I'm getting married. Even though I know that I'm going to be in pain that day, I also know that it's going to be the best day of my life. Goal was to be able to dance with my wife at our wedding. And I don't think I'm going to be capable of that. I'm going to feel lucky if I can stand through the 15-minute ceremony. It breaks my heart. Here, here we go. It's already, you know, pity, 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 poor me, poor me, poor me. I'm too fat, I can't get up, um, you know, I'm too fat for my own wedding. Uh, here, Boogie, here's an idea. I'm just going to throw this at you right now. I'm just going to throw it out there. Uh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm trying to plant seeds, whether they bear fruit, you know, I don't know. But here's an idea, Boogie. How about um, you go lose some weight? What? 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 I, I know that's a crazy idea, Boogie, but how about you go outside, you walk, 15 minutes every day, you know, you start out walking walking around the block, and with every day, you know, you add a block to it, you add a block to it, you add another block to it, until, you know, you eat healthier, you know, 
maybe not put Doritos and Mountain Dew in a blender and do it for a video, you know, and eat it for a video. You know, maybe just eat healthier and walk healthier and live a healthier lifestyle. Maybe, you know, all that YouTube money you got, all that shill money, maybe, you know, donate that to some light bulb suction. Uh, and uh, there you go, dude. You'll lose some weight. But, you know, you, I, I think this, this, this pity thing you do is it just, it's just a way for you not only to, to rake in pity subs, by the way, which I think you, you have about 2 million. I think there's 2 million people that sub to you because they feel sorry for you. I think this pity thing is a way for you to make money and boogie look. I know this makes me look like a fucking asshole. You know, I, I'm aware it makes me look like a piece of shit and makes me look like a bad person. But Boogie, I'm sorry. Somebody needs to say it. Stop playing the fucking victim in your videos. You still have talent, Boogie. You can make good content. Your earlier content was great. I'd come home from work, I'd be pissed off, and I'd watch your, earl your earlier content, you know, your Francis Rages videos. And I'd be like, wow, that's actually pretty good. This guy can actually make me chuckle every now and then. You're not, you know, he's not so bad. But as of lately, Boogie, your, your entire channel has become nothing but a center of pity. And look at me. I'm so pathetic. Everyone, please feel sorry for me. And please, please just subscribe to me. And to all his fans that are going to come in this comment section and just say all this shit like, oh, you don't know him. Fuck you, Nomad. That's no, you know, who the hell do you think you are to say that? You know what? I'm a two-bit book and private server channel with over 800 subs. That's who I am. Okay? This is just one man's humble opinion. Well, I wouldn't say humble, but you get the fucking point. Well, guys, this is my last video for the year. Um, you're probably not going to see any content from me for a little bit. Uh, you know, look, as usual, guys, you're the ones that keep me going. You're the ones that kept this channel alive. I never thought I would even reach 800 subs. Take care. Get a beer. You know, go out, uh, jack off to some Japanese cartoons online, and I'll catch you guys next year. See ya. Fuck the bones. Grenade!